How's it going, YouTube? Uh, it's your boy. I have beaten the washed allegations and I have topped a format in BT15. It's relevant now, but this deck doesn't change going into 16. So like, if you hate 15 and you hate BT16, then this is a deck you can play playing under protest. Uh, we took it to the Griffins Gaming 3v3. It was supposed to be a BT16 event, but uh, uh, insert delay images here. Uh, I was BT15, so we considered trolling as a group. I went with uh, Mr. Tricks on the sticks and his brother. I took Beelzemon, he took Ganku OTK, and um, Adam took uh, Marcus Hybrid. And we were undefeated at the end of Swiss and got second overall. Uh, yeah, so it's Beelzemon. Y'all know how this, you know me, I love, I love gambling. Yeah, so Digimon starts the eggs. It's it's four eggs. I guess the other thing I should say is big shout outs to Quang after he went on that crazy run at Carlos or Karlsruhe. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, have been wanting to build his 50, but thanks to Raiden Trade just not publishing the list, we don't know. So I kind of reverse engineered the list as best I could. So if you're looking to play Quang's list, this is 48 of the cards that I think were in there. And then I took two things in there because again we were just mucking around and accidentally kept winning. I literally had other places to be that I was late to. Uh, start off with two Impmons when uh, on deletion trash three. Sometimes you just got to mill things. Uh, as many of this Impmon that they'll let me play. Play set of the best Impmon and then play set of Impmon X. This card um, a lot of people just build it in the back. Quang was playing it very out front. You can use this basically to turn any of your option cards into a Rivals Barrage that doesn't need setup. It's something that uh, came up massive for the 3v3, super important. It was really useful at the regional and it's uh, Inherit lets you trigger the trash. Uh, card, very, very silly. Uh, four of the Wisdom on the Prince Memory. Shout out to Yor for giving me a Judge one at the end of the event. The homie came through. And uh, this card came through like crazy. Also is one of your ways of not decking out because you will be aggressively milling when you have several X antibodies in the stack and you will be needing, if you don't have an Iron Marco, a way to just make sure that your deck is rigged so you can get value. Uh, the blocker never comes up, but it is another way of milling too. You give up the mill two when you Evo if you're going in for this, but you make it straight back and that's where you start really seeing the value of the Wizardmon Inherit because when you're milling four on a stack, you kind of want one of them to be from hand. Only playing four level fives because the goat was only playing four level fives and we just go with uh, on Evo trash three and scam people from there. A lot of the times you're going to be hitting uh, the Beelzemon, uh, the regular. Uh, the winner, the uh, Beelzemon Cup winner, or an alt art, really, whichever your fancy is. Um, you can run these bad boys and they will play any of your Impmons, except the Impmon X, because it's Impmon, not Impmon in name. The other thing is, the reason we're on so many of them is because he was using it really aggressively to play for board. The When Did You Evolving Trash 2 is the smallest mill you can get off of Beelzemon, as well as it also being non once per turn when attacking means against something like Nume, you can pitch, pop something, mil uh, attack, pop something, which is quite useful. Um, three cost Evo doesn't hurt either as well if you're going off of a training or anything like that. So the Beelzemon, we're on four of them. It was originally three, but um, the idea of playing four different rarities where it's only kind of clear that they're four different rarities upon closer inspection was way too funny to pass up. So we're on four of those. I think Quang might have also been on four. I was cutting it down to three for a bit, but yeah, I think four is what you would want to run for this super aggressive playstyle. You don't need as many of the sec plus one ones because you are playing for board control most of the time and just playing a measured aggro game. But sometimes you can just present lethal by busting someone down and telling them that they only have rookies in their security. Uh, but also interacting with security is just dog and you should just never do it. Uh, my round one uh, for our teams was a setcon, and I got to under Shadow Seraphi evolve this, burn two, get the Digivolve, rivals, bring it back, evolve, burn two, swing for game, very normal. Uh, card's good, it's basically your immediate target off of rivals barrage if you don't need to find your four Balmons, pretty fun. Uh, this was one of the cards I injected. Some would call it spice, but I mean, the, that term is so overused. This actually legitimately came up. There were situations where this won me games 
in a situation where like the extra Bielzamon or some other consistency card that Quang had I actually would have lost me the game. So shout out to Bill Starmon. She presented Lethal in several ways that um, really just gives you an extra avenue for attack. I think she's super slept on. But uh, yeah, she is one of the cards that you turn into something else if you're trying to run as close to Quang's 50 as possible. We're on two blast modes because sometimes one is in security and sometimes you just need to load a gun. During the regional, I had a lethal that came off of me using this, loading with three Iron Marcos, two of these and one of these, and it allowed me to evolve, pop something, and then load this to shoot the other things and then float into the two Bielzamons. Card's very, very good. Obviously, it is your win condition as well. It gives you lethal if you push off of a thingy turn and you just want to go ham. It's the swing two, burn two, unsuspend, swing two again, Lamau, normal. Uh, and one ruin mode because it does win you games. It actually won us the set that got us into top four because I was able to push heavy on board and then drop uh, the ruin mode on top of it for 5k blanket and it just completely locks you out. I managed to kill a yellow vaccine player from six. Well, like six security versus zero pushing out. Warp did the full line and got them from six to zero, ended on ruin, and they just had to scoop it, you know, it gets value. Card the dumb, gets a lot. There are also some shenanigans you can do with Iron Marco or ruin mode where you swing with the wizard man or using an Iron Marco Evo to stack um, an option to the top of security with the um, recovery. So that way you can guarantee that you're gonna be popping something out. So you're getting extra value there. Pretty dumb card. Uh, shout out to Tricks for letting me borrow his. It was a team's event, so we just borrowed it and I got to use it again in the regionals. It did come up, card's good. This was another card. I'll put it right next to the Bill Star because it's another one that you could cut, uh, honestly. Mill three, sometimes you sometimes you just sack the hell out of someone. People don't know what this card does. It's fantastic. One cost extender. Sometimes if you just want to pass one, you probably won't because you will hit a Death Slinger and then have to figure out a way to pass, but you're at least three cards deeper into the deck. So I like it early on. You could just run Poor training though. I'm on three because again, I cut one card to just, you know, feel something in the awful format that is BT15. But yeah, training's really good in Bielzmon. Uh Cards are dumb, people should use it. Especially when you're on uh, four Balmons, you need these to find your Balmons as soon as possible. Uh, especially if these Iron Marcos are there. Like sometimes you have to figure out when to play training, when to play Iron Marco to figure out where you want to dig, but it's whatever. And now the option is the kill stuff. Uh, four Slinger, because it gives you the memory. This card should have been at one. Three Rivals to find your Balmons when you inevitably can't find them after two turns. And because we put space for other dumb stuff, we only have one seventh full cluster. Sometimes one card is all you need in order to not deck out, so I didn't need two. And yeah, the list performed incredibly. Uh, for my matchup at the 3v3, round one was Setcon. I won 2-0, our team won 2-1. And to be honest, like our team won 2 1 for every single thing. So every game that I didn't win, Ganku OTK came through. And then Marcus Hybrid was all like, hey, yeah, Adam, go win your game. And at least me or Trokes will connect the neurons and it will work. I lost uh, 0 2 to Levia, game two. I kind of threw that one, but uh, it didn't matter because it was one of those. The Marcus Hybrid matchup looked fine. And I was kind of spent most of the game watching Tricks do donuts on someone with uh, Ganku OTK, which will be on the channel soon. That's also going to be recorded this week. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, very, very funny, and I kind of was not paying attention and threw that game. Uh, Beat Blue Flare 2 0, and our team won 2 1. Um, honestly, that's a super aggro match. Just never give them more than one body. You have to decline the float on this every single, single time. Maybe you can try and get Bill Star to work, but most of the time you just play Control, resolve the when digivolving when attacking of this, never resolve the top text of it, and you probably will win the game unless they high roll you and you hit Sorai. Poor loading. Uh, round four versus Red Hybrid. Uh, that was our only draw. We actually kind of wanted a draw because I wanted to go home an hour early, and I threw from orbit. Like I hit Trident Gaia last check, and it popped my Bill Star with uh, the DP inherit, so it burned my last security, and it meant I couldn't like double block out. Uh, incredibly annoying, uh, super avoidable. I was playing around Crimson Blaze rather than that, but technically, yes, I had the unsuspend in hand, so it's whatever. Bill, uh, blast mode not having to go over just to be Elzamon means that any of your sixes can do that swing push, so that's my bad. Uh, then top eight uh, was against two hybrid again. 
Uh, red hybrid again. One, two, one. Uh, we kind of sacked each other game one. Like, I hit something that just exploded my board, and then he hit something that blew up his board, and then I stabilized from there. Game two. Uh, both the games I lost against the red hybrids, I didn't check security once. Like, I just got 5 0 clean game two both times. Uh, and our team won 2 1 overall. And then top four was against Sabbath. Shout out to Sabbath. Um, watcher of the show. Always says hi to us at events and uh, did very, very well at the regional on Hunters. Um, yeah, Hunters came down to a decision that kind of was 50 50. It was one of those like both of, their, both of the teammates finished and it came down to me and him for finals. And it was game three. I was able to clutch up and then it was kind of like. My team were just like, we're going to let you do your thing. And his team were like, we're going to like 50-50. And there was one thing that they disagreed on, which was the timing of a clock mon. And in the long run, it might have like taken a chip off the board that saved him. He kind of put me on better have it. And I channeled uh, my my best Kwong impression. And uh, I had it. And I think ruin mode, ruin mode locking out the board. Like I was able to kill something and then ruin mode locked out the board for 5k. So it made it impossible for him to digicross and stabilize, which meant that I just had game the next turn. And he hit, after them doing a bunch of mass, he hit uh, Rivals that was recovered off of the... It was recovered off of the um, Ruin mode, which was um, super dog, honestly. Not how I want our games to end with a fan, but like, if they had it, they had it. And unfortunately for them, did not. Uh, and then... Top two, I just broke game two. Like game one was close-ish. Game two. Oh, so game one, um, I just got stunned a bunch of times. It was kind of unfortunate. I was missing my pieces. I was under 20 and I dug through so much of my deck and just could not find this Impmon at all to save my life. So I just couldn't kill him. It was uh, infuriating. Uh, and also I hit Sorai. So he saw I me, and then evolved to burn, went to clear security, cleared all the security with a security check, and the last check is Sora and it stuns my other body and I just can't win. And then I try and make a blocker under ruin, it doesn't work, and then I break game two. So we end at second place. Uh, yeah, deck's cool, very belligerent. If you don't like anything that's in any given format, this deck will do what it needs to. Again, if you're trying to play Quang's list, I'm assuming that you probably play something like this and like this, maybe? Or like turn this into any Beelzemon, the Beelstar. But like that's that's probably the Quang Min Lee 50 if you want to replicate his Kazrua list. If you just, I don't know, want to feel something, then, you know, run my 50. This... This was another deck profile. There'll be BT16 deck lists coming soon. We're still just waiting on Asmodee to get the cards into the damn country. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone that has been supporting the channel. This has been another wacky, wacky deck profile. Wowee. See you in the next one. Bye.